Bogdan, um, and then him as kind of the center of the defense. Is, um, just kind of talk about how important the defense was for you guys in this one. Well, obviously very important. Uh, what, what, what a game. I mean, you know, 20 league changes. Uh, I, I thought both teams were very well prepared. Uh, they were able to take away a number of our things. I thought they did a great job taking away Vic, and I thought we made Bogdan work for his shots. Uh, um, you know, hampered by a little bit of foul trouble there in the first half and even in the second half with my main two guys who have to guard him, um, Brayon and Nate. Uh, I thought we did a good job of, of uh, sticking to the game plan and, and making them work, and ultimately it came down with some big stops at the end of this game. Can you take us through that emotional roller coaster last 25 seconds that Blake make and then the Sir Washington has free throws. What was going through your head? Well, <laughs> a lot. Uh, you know, I, was, I love the crowd tonight. I, I, you know, they had missed a free throw. Uh, not that I remember. Maybe they had. Um, no, they only missed two. So they had missed a free throw at that point, and I thought our crowd erupted and got on him, and, and, and that's, that's what you need to have home court advantage, and he was able to, to miss those two free throws. And, and then it was just a, you know, you asked what was going through my mind, a, a, a lot of things because we hadn't got to the bonus yet, and, and we were going to foul. Uh, they're, they're late once we got a significant uh, a lead, you know, when we had a three-point lead or whatever, we were going to go ahead and foul. Even, even they're late, we were going to foul because they weren't going to go to the free throw line and we were going to try to run down the clock. And, and, and our plan was on that play, I'm not sure who blocked it, either uh, Jordan or, or Brian. Our plan was to foul on that possession as well. Uh, not foul the shooter, but, but foul on the court, uh, foul on the ground so, that, so they'd have to take it out. So I was really happy with the way my guys defended tonight. We, we, to beat Eastern, you got to defend without fouling. We were able to keep them off the free throw line. I thought that was a big key in the game. Nate Sherwood kind of went off for a while in that second half on face, switched to zone. Talk about his play. Yeah, he, he played well. You know, uh, Nate's a really good shooter. We've been working really hard on his, uh, his shot. Um, I've been on him, and, and he probably said that in the meeting room about, you know, I'm always constantly on him about being more aggressive. We actually put in a couple looks that he that, that gets him face up jumpers against bigger guys. We he, a couple times early late we executed and got him some wide open shots. It was nice to see him step up and and um, make some big shots. How, how much of a deep breath did you have to take to leave him in with four fouls? Well, that's kind of a um, you, you know how, how I do that is is about when it gets inside the five minute mark. Then if my guy has four fouls, he's he's going back in. It's kind of the way I've always done it, you know, because, you know, when is the right time to put him back in? When is not the right time? Um, so to, to answer your question, it, it was kind of just something that I always do. If he, he's a starter, we're under five minutes, got four fouls, he's, he's coming back in. If he fouls, you know, we'll figure it out from there. And, and I thought he did a good job playing, playing with his four fouls. Has been two and two at home in a big sky before this. How nice is it to get a win at home? And we needed to get a win uh, because, quite frankly, we haven't been very good at home. Um, you know, and, and that was kind of our focus uh, this week. We haven't defended uh, very well at home. We're giving up 46 percent. We're six and one on the road, and, and most of the time in, in conference, if you go six and one on the road, uh, you're right at the top of the conference. And and uh, we've got to do a, a lot better job defending our home court. It really helps when the crowd comes out and gives us some energy. Uh, but we've got to play better basketball in the Cal Inspector. Montana State and Montana coming up, two teams you haven't faced yet, especially Montana undefeated. What are you looking at? Well, it's a big week uh, because, uh, you know, even though Montana's up three games right now, I think as we sit tonight, um, uh, you know, they've got a tough tough swing here in Eastern and us, and they've got uh, Weber and Idaho State, you know, and, and they haven't played any of the top four teams in the league. Uh, you know, the only one we've played is, is Eastern, so it's a big week. Uh, you know, we, our goal at the start of the season is to win a conference championship. If that's not over yet, obviously we want to win the tournament championship as well. But we've got two teams coming in who both got very, very good players. Tyler Hall uh, is as good as there is in this conference. Uh, and they've struggled a little bit on the road, but been very good at home. Obviously, we got them here. And then Montana's undefeated to this point. Uh, we, we've got to do a heck of a job. We haven't watched them much because uh, it, it's one of those things that we haven't had the same opponents. So that's, that's why we gave the, week, the, the guys a weekend off and the, the coaches get to work this weekend. What... Uh, uh, you were talking earlier about their doing, them do, doing a good job taking your big scorer away from you and you making their guy work for his. Expound on that a little bit. What, what was going on there? Yeah, um, 
Well, first of all, the, the one thing is when you're travel partners, you know, we watch every video uh, that they play, okay? Every game, because usually the game right before um, is, is, you know, like Sacramento State. They played Sacramento State, we watch Sacramento State video, you know, and, and so just kind of, um, so we know a lot about them. But, um, so what went, what went on tonight is they did a great job of what we call sealing the gaps and, and basically guarding Vic with a man and a half. I thought they did an excellent job. I thought Vic did a nice nice job of Justin uh, after halftime and, and ends up with nine assists, almost a triple-double tonight. What we worked really hard on Bliznik is we wanted to make him work like crazy uh, for his shots. Uh, we were going to give him, not really give him some threes, we are going to try to make him earn his threes and he was able to step up and make, what, one or two tonight? Uh, it felt like more than that. Uh, one. Uh, but we felt like his strength was driving his ball to the basket and getting himself to the free throw line. And so we were going to constantly help off a few guys uh, to try to make it harder. I thought BJ and, and Nate did a good job of making him make a second and a third move. Uh, that was kind of in the game plan and making him score over the top of us. Um, we made way too many mistakes tonight on, on Benzel. Uh, we lost him too many times, and I thought he was the key to them keeping their lead and keeping them in the game in the second half. You talked a couple weeks ago about February, the teams who play well in February, the teams who play well in March. Now you're 3-0 in the early weeks. Are you guys feeling like you're that team? Uh, we got six more to go. I'll let you know after six. You know what? Uh, we're getting better. Uh, no, no question about it. Uh, we're not there yet, uh, um, but, but I feel like we, last week I thought we played really well on the road, uh, probably as good as we've played in a while. Um, especially from an attitude standpoint, and we don't have bad attitudes at all, but it's it's about being a good team. And, and tonight, I thought we were just okay. Um, but um, you know, February is 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 all about will and whether you want to do it or not. And these guys want to do it, so uh, I, I think we'll be okay as we move through February. Here. Uh, you said they kind of just figured things out, and as you saw, the nine assists. Um, what did you see out of his game to get all those rebounds and all those assists? Tonight? Well, he played hard, you know, and Vic always, always, always plays really hard, and he's a, he's a smart player, uh, no, no question about it. I thought his shot selection was a lot better in the second half than it was in the first half. Um, and then, you know, I, I thought he did a good job of finding his, his, his guys, and, and that's just a trip to who Vic is. We didn't do anything special, or I didn't say anything special to him. It was just, you know, hey, go make some basketball plays, and he did. Anything else for Coach? Thank you, Coach. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you.